Anytime now, Queen Sheba will be arrested by Uganda police after alleging that a big official in President Museveni's government tempted to rape her. Well, in other news, I'm coming to you with an update on the war between retired General Mugesha Muntu and President Museveni's son, General Muhozi Kainerugaba. Well, many thanks for subscribing to The Buzz UG and just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Now, kick-starting with General Mugisha Muntu. Now, recently, General Mugisha Muntu, the president of Alliance for National Transformation, asked General Muhozi Kainerugawa to first retire from the army and then pursue his political ambition not to tarnish the reputation of the army that he said has taken time to build. Now, in his own words, he said, NRA stroke UPDF has been built through many sacrifices. Welcome to politics, but get out of uniform first. Now, that was a tweet from Jeno Mugisha Mutu. Now, yesterday, Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba responded to Jeno Mugisha Mutu's comments, saying his advice is uncalled for and that he should reserve it to himself. My father and practically everybody else in the UPDF does not require your insight into anything. Please keep it for yourself and your small collapsing political party. Ha, that's a tough reply right there from Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba, President Museveni's son. Now, it should be remembered that Jeno Mugisha Mutu was army commander between 1989 and 1998. Actually, army commander is the highest position in the Ugandan military. I don't know how this is gonna end, but so far that's it from Jeno Mutu and first son Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba. Well, there's a saying that leave issues of genos to genos. So let's end that talk right there and we just watch on. Otherwise, I'll keep you posted on whatever that will be coming up in regards to this story. Well, in other news, uh, Father Gaetano Batanyenda has urged the opposition in Uganda to combine efforts and stop Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba from succeeding his father, President Museveni. Now, Father Gaetano is a very outspoken reverend father from Kabali Diocese and he's also the chairperson of the interreligious castle in Chigezi region. Now, his call comes amidst the ongoing national debate on the alleged plan by President Museveni to oversee Uganda's first peaceful transition of power by handing over to his son Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba. So that is it from Father Gaetano Batanyenda from Kabale calling upon the opposition in Uganda not to make a mistake of allowing Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba to take over our country Uganda. But some people are saying that religious leaders are not supposed to be partisan. Why is it that Father Gaetano is showing the side he belongs to? Anyway, I don't know what you think but you can put your thoughts down in the comment section. Well, in other news... So recently, Shiba, in a video that went viral on different social media platforms, claimed that some man who appears on television and presents himself as a role model tempted to rape her. However, Shiba did not disclose this person, but she claimed he's a big person in government and he's protected by SFC guards. Now, of course, as you know, social media, people started coming up with their own names. Uh, one of them was the former vice president of Uganda, that is Gilbert Bukenya, and the other was veteran journalist Andrew Mwenda. Now, Andrew Mwenda has come out to defend himself, and I'm telling you, his defense is too long, but I managed to pick some main points. Now, Andrew Mwenda says in his entire life, he has never met with Queen Sheba and never at any point heard of her until that recent video came out. Well, number two, Andrew Mwenda says, if it's true that Sheba was raped, why is it hard for her to expose the person who did it? Now, Andrew Mwenda says, Sheba want to make people think that someone who raped her was at Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba's birthday party because it was the same weekend. But Andrew Mwenda says, Sheba was not even among the list of performers at the event. Now, finally, Andrew Mwenda calls upon Uganda police to get interested in this matter because Shiba is trying to protect a criminal who is a rapist in this case. 
Uh, so anytime now, Queen Sheba, get ready. Uh, you could be picked up or maybe summoned by Uganda police to explain exactly who that rapist is. And you also tell us where it happened. And on the other hand, former vice president of Uganda, Gilbert Bukenya, who is also a suspect in this case, hasn't said anything. But at least for Andrew Mwenda has defended himself. There you go. I'll be keeping you posted on more developments about this story. Otherwise, I feel like it's just getting started. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.